The Thanjavur Nayak Kingdom or Thanjavur Nayak Dynasty were the rulers of Thanjavur Principality of Tamil Nadu in the 16th and 17th centuries. The Nayaks were originally appointed as provincial governors by the Vijayanagar Emperor in the 14th century, who divided the Tamil country into three Nayakships viz. Madurai, Tanjore and Jinji. In the mid-16th century they became an independent kingdom, although they continued their alliance with the Vijayanagar Empire. The Thanjavur Nayaks were notable for their patronage of literature and the arts. A translation from sources p. 284 on Ragunathabudayam says this about Timma, the father of Savapa Nayak, the founder of the Tanjore Nayak line. In the Shudra caste born from the feet of Vishnu was born a king called Timma. The Manaru Vishnu of the Manargudi temple was their Kula Devam family deity. Topic: <laughs> Origins of Nayak rule. With the demise of the Chola dynasty in 1279, Thanjavur was ruled by a branch of Chola dynasty, until the Vijayanagara Empire conquered all of South India by the late 14th century. The Vijayanagar rulers installed viceroys to rule over various parts of the empire. In 1532 CE, Akuta Deva Raya, the brother and successor of Krishna Deva Raya of Vijayanagar granted Savapa Nayak, the governor of Thanjavur, permission to establish a feudatory kingdom following his southern campaigns against the last Chola ruler. <laughs> Nayak kings Chevapa Nayak Chevapa Nayak aka. Savapa Nayak was the first Thanjavur Nayak king. He was the son of Timapa Nayak, a Vijayanagara viceroy in the Arkot region from his wife Biambika. The work Ragunathabudayam written by Vijayaragava Nayaka gives some genealogical details of Timapa. Timapa or Timabhupati was the ruler of North Arkot with his capital at Nedungunram. The epigraphs of all of the Tanjore Nayaks show that they belonged to Nedungunram. One of Krishnadevaraya's epigraphs mentions that Timapa also had the high privilege of serving him as a doorkeeper and was the emperor's Dalave commander who took part in the Raichur campaign. According to historian V. Viridagarasan, Timapa Nayak was the brother of Nagama Nayak. Nagama Nayak was the father of Visvanatha Nayak founder of the Madurai Nayak dynastic line. Hence Viswanatha Nayak and Chevapa Nayak were cousins. The work Ragunathabudayam mentions that Timapa and Bayambika had four sons, Peta Siva, Chinna Siva, Peta Mala and Chinna Mala. However, not much is known of the other three sons. Of the four sons, Chinna Siva alias Savapa Nayak seems to have distinguished himself. Before assuming power of the Tanjore kingdom, Sevapa had distinguished himself under Krishnadavaraya as an administrator and a builder. Savapa's wife Murtimamba was the sister-in-law of Akuta Deva Raya and the sister of the Vijayanagara queen, Tirumalamba. Some sources suggest that Savapa acquired the Thanjavur kingdom as Stridana dowry from Akuta Deva Raya. Savapa was also a ceremonial beetle bearer to Akuta Deva Raya, the brother of Krishnadevaraya. According to the book Arunachala, a short history of hill and temple in Tiruvannamalai PG 54-55, the Position of a ceremonial beetle bearer or a dayapan was a post given to a very trusted subordinate, and Savapa, being a powerful and influential man of the locality, was appointed the first Nayak. The position of a beetle bearer was usually not given to an outsider, as this position would make the man privy to all of the king's personal details. Therefore, the position was usually given to a trusted member within the family. Achuthapa Nayak Savapa's son, Achuthapa Nayak was named in memory of Akuta Deva Raya. He led a peaceful reign of 54 years. Up until 1580 Achuthapa Nayak co-ruled with his father under the Uvaraja title while immediately after that he was joined by his heir, son Ragunatha Nayak. He was said to be deeply religious and was well considered a master in the art of warfare. His minister was Govinda Dikshitar, a great scholar and a shrewd administrator. His long reign was of comparative peace apart from the internal struggles enabling him to contribute much to spiritual and public utility development. 
Topic: <laughs> Conflicts and Wars. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Wars with Madurai. During Achuthapa's reign, the Vijayanagara Empire was defeated by the Deccan Sultanate's armies at the Battle of Talakota. Later when the Vijayanagara rulers re-established their capital in Chandragiri and Velour under Sriranga Reyes, Achuthapa Nayak continued his loyalty while Jinji and Madurai Nayaks intended to break free by refusing to pay tribute. This would also lead to bitter animosity between the Madurai Nayaks and the Tanjore Nayaks ultimately leading to the battle at Valamprakara where the Tanjore army with the Reyes fought against Virapa Nayak of Madurai by defeating the latter. Same time when the Reyes of Chandragiri were waging wars with the Deccan Sultanates in southern Andhra Pradesh Chuthapa Nayak provided support. <laughs> wars with Portugal Portugal controlled the Nagapatanam territory as well as the Colombo province in Ceylon and the entire west coast of India. The king of Jaffna kingdom went into a war against Portugal against the methods adopted by the missionary conversions in Jaffna. Later king of Jaffna sought help from the Tanjore Nayaks in repelling Portuguese advances through many battles. Suchuthapa Nayak provided land grants to the new Italian settlers who escaped the siege of Malta by the Ottoman Empire with the demand of their conversion to Hinduism. Topic. Public contributions Achuthapa Nayak was deeply religious from his young days and the fertile nature of his country helped him make large contributions in gifts and infrastructure to major temples and also important irrigation systems. The main benefactor was the Srirangam temple. His assistant and advisor was his minister Govinda Dikshita. Topic. Srirangam temple. The Srirangam Temple Towers of the north and west and the 8th Prakara Temple Wall Street and several halls Mandapam inside the temple complex were built by him. The golden vimana of the innermost shrines temple flag and the image of God studded with crown jewels was presented by a Chuthapa Nayak. Other temples his other major contributions include the Pushamantapas halls with steps leading to River Kaveri in Mayavaram, Tiruvadimaradur, Tiruvadi in Kumbakonam and Golden Colossus of Tiruvannamalai Temple Gopurams towers some of the Gopurams in Ramaswaram. Several temples in Arkot and Tanjore regions namely temples in Tiruvadimaradur and Chidambaram received villages as grants. Irrigation. <inaudible> 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 His one remarkable contribution is the construction of a dam across Kaveri near Tiruvadi leading to efficient irrigation in its vicinity. Topic: <laughs> Housing. Numerous agraharas, housing for Brahmins in Tanjore country were built in his period. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Final years. During his last days the Reyes now ruling from Chandragiri and Velour had rival claimants within the family to the title and were heading for a war with the other Nayak kings taking sides with some suited to their vested interests. Raghunatha <inaudible> <inaudible> Nayak <inaudible> 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 Raghunatha Nayak is regarded as the greatest in the Thanjavur Nayak dynasty. He is famous for his patronage of literature other scholarly research. One of his wives, Ramabhadramba was highly educated and a gifted poet. During his time he granted military assistance to the Chandragiri ruler Venkata II to recover most of his lost areas from the Golconda forces. In 1620 Raghunatha Nayak permitted a Danish settlement at Tarangambadi. This encouraged the English to seek trade with the Thanjavur Nayaks. The Tanjore Canon or Raghunatha Canon, supposed to be the largest canon in the world was installed during Raghunatha Nayak, built with Danish metallurgy know-how. Raghunatha was a gifted scholar in Sanskrit, Kannada and Telugu languages, as well as a talented musician. His court was distinguished for its assembly of poets and scholars. Raghunatha is credited with writing several books on music and literature. 
Madhuravani and Ramabhadramba were two famous poets in his court, while Sudhindra and Raghavendra were two famous Madhva gurus patronized by him. Govinda Dikshita's son Yajnanarayana has written an account on Raghunatha's rule in his work Sahitya Ratnakara. Raghunatha was a gifted scholar and an expert in the art of swordplay, a fine marksman and a skilled master in horse riding. In the field of music, Raghunatha created new ragas, talas, and milas like Jayanta Sena Ragam, Ramananda Talam, Sargita Vidya and Raghunatha Mela. His Sanskrit treatise on music, Sangita Sutta opened the secrets of music to all. Raghunatha also composed kavyas and dance dramas like Prabhankas, Parijatapaharanda, Valmika Charitra Kavya, Akiyotandrabudayam, Gajendramaksham, Nala Karisham and Rukmani Krishna Vivaha Yakshagana. It was during Raghunatha's reign that a palace library was established. Sarasvati Bandar is where the manuscripts of Raghunatha's prolific court scholars were collected and preserved. This library was developed and enriched later by Raja Sirfoji II into the currently famous Saraswati Mahal Library. <inaudible> <inaudible> Civil war in Velour During Raghunatha's rule, a civil war involving succession to the throne was taking place in the Vijayanagara kingdom, now based in Velour and Chandragiri. Gabori Jaga Raya, brother of the previous ruler Venkata II's favorite queen Obiyama claimed her putative son as the king and murdered Sriranga II along with his family in the Velour prison. Jaga Raya was strongly challenged by Yashamendu, the chief of Kalahasti who claimed the throne for Rama Deva, the rightful heir whom he had smuggled out from the Velour prison. Jaga Raya sought help from the Jinji Nayak and Mutu Varapa of Madurai to attack Yashamendu and Rama Deva. Yashamendu and Ramadeva sought support from Raghunatha, who still treated the Vijayanagar as his authority. The Battle of Tapur Jaga Raya assembled a large army near Tirakirapali, the capital of Mutu Varapa comprising the armies of Jinji, Shara, Madurai, and some Portuguese from the coast. Yahama led the forces of Vijayanagara and Kalahasti from Velour and was joined midway by Tanjore forces headed by Raghunatha. Yahama's army was further strengthened by nobles from Karnataka and, according to some accounts, Dutch and Jaffna armies. Both the armies met at the Tapur, at an open field on the northern banks of River Kaveri, between Tirakirapali and Grand Anakut in late months of 1616. The huge assembly of forces on either side is estimated to be as many as a million soldiers according to Dr. Bharata's in Sewell's book and considered to be one of the biggest battles in southern India. <laughs> Result in the battle Jaga Raya's troops could not withstand the aggression generated by the imperial forces. Yahama and Raghunatha, the generals of the imperial camp led their forces with great discipline. Jaga Raya was slain by Yahama, and his army broke the ranks and took flight. Yethiraja, the brother of Jaga Raya, had to run for his life. Mutu Varapa tried to escape, he was pursued by Yahama's general Rao Dhamma Nayani who captured him near Tirakirapali. The Nayak of Jinji in the encounter lost all his forts except Jinji Fort and the putative son of Venkata II, cause of all trouble was captured. The victory was celebrated by the imperial armies headed by Raghunatha and Yashamendu, who planted pillars of victory and crowned Rama Deva as Rama Deva Raya, in early months of 1617. Rama Deva Raya was barely 15 years old when he ascended the throne. Vijaya Raghava Nayak Vijaya Raghava Nayak was the last of the Nayak kings of Thanjavur. He was also called Manaru Dasa, and like the rest of his family, he built Prakaras, Gopurams, Mandapams and tanks in the Manargudi Rajagopalaswami temple. Vijayaragava's long reign witnessed a large amount of literary output both in music and Telugu literature. Vijayaragava's court had a number of poets and literary scholars. Vijayaragava Nayak wrote more than 30 books in Telugu. His long reign was sadly brought to an abrupt end by Chokanatha Nayak of Madurai. <laughs> end of Nayak rule 
The end of the Thanjavur Nayak dynasty was brought on by Chokanatha Nayak, the Nayak of Madurai. The dispute was due to the refusal of Vijaya Raghava Nayak to give his daughter in marriage to Chokanatha Nayak. Chakantha determined to fetch the maiden by force back into their capital, successfully stormed the Thanjavur Palace in 1673 after flattening much of the fort walls by cannons. But Chokanatha Nayak was thwarted in his attempts by Vijaya Raghava Nayak, when he, in a gruesome act of defiance, blew up his daughter and all the other ladies of the palace. He then charged at the attacking army with his son and his bodyguard. He was captured after a brief fight, and was beheaded by the Madurai general Samukam Venkata Krishnapa Nayak. <laughs> Maratha conquest Chokanatha placed his younger brother Alagiri Nayak on the throne of Thanjavur, but within a year the latter threw off his allegiance, and Chokanatha was forced to recognize the independence of Thanjavur. A son of Vijaya Raghava induced the Bijapur Sultan to help him get back the Thanjavur throne. In 1675, the Sultan of Bijapur sent a force commanded by the Maratha general Venkoji alias Ekoji to drive away the Madurai usurper. Venkaji defeated Alagiri with ease, and occupied Thanjavur. He did not, however, place his protégé on the throne as instructed by the Bijapur Sultan, but seized the kingdom and made himself king. Thus ended the reign of Nayaks and the start of Maratha power in Thanjavur. See also Madurai Nayak dynasty Nayaks of Jinji